All right, so today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have the chief of Gigamon Australia and New Zealand, George Sukas. Um, Gigamon is a network visibility and, and analytics company headquartered in California with offices all over the world. So to start, George, um, for an IT manager that hasn't worked with Gigamon before, what are your key products and offerings? Thanks for the introduction and thanks for uh, uh, inviting me onto this chat. So you, you pretty much identified it uh, accurately. We really focus on providing uh, network visibility and analytics capabilities uh, to enterprises, both big and small, um, and, and telcos as well. Uh, and we really are focused on uh, providing that visibility across multiple uh, platforms, uh, uh, including cloud, virtual and physical infrastructure, uh, because we see a distinct need for businesses these days uh, to have a much deeper understanding of what's traversing their network. Uh, and often uh, that we find them dealing with uh, massive tool explosions that create a lot more confusion often than visibility. Uh, so giving on is trying to provide a, a, a more efficient way of utilizing sometimes pre-existing uh, tooling infrastructure in order to give you a, a better or more accurate or more secure viewpoint of what's happening in your uh, in your environment. Right, yeah. And um, so now that most organizations are starting to return to the office for, from remote work in Australia, what do you think will be the key priorities from an IT and InfoSec perspective? Cool, um, I think uh, there are probably uh, three key priorities. Um, I think firstly, if we, if we sort of look at the infrastructure, the infrastructure, as I mentioned, including the tooling <clears throat> and detection capabilities needs to be really robust. Uh, during the lockdown that we're all uh, very familiar with. <laughs> uh, there were many devices, often personal ones, accessing corporate networks. <clears throat> and many of these are outside of the control uh, of IT. So it's important for IT departments to be able to detect potential vulnerabilities, but more importantly, act on them quickly. Uh, so Gigamon, we always talk about how critical it is to have visibility of your traffic and to know what's going on in your network. Uh, secondly, uh, I think we've entered a new realm, if you like, between working from home and working from office. And many bus businesses, incidentally, are probably leaning uh, probably more towards the work from home in this current environment. Uh, so I think IT's next challenge will be able to make sure they both a adequately scale their infrastructure for this new mix of how people are working in terms of remote VPN capabilities, uh, but also uh, re-looking at their security postures and potential risk expo exposures in this new hybrid world. Um, again, you know, having visibility uh, and a visibility fabric, which enables you to do this, uh, to know what's going on inside your LAN uh, and remotely via the WAN is critical. Uh, and lastly, I think uh, it's inevitable that, be, that there's going to be a renewed focus and optimization on optimization of performance, uh, especially with respect to cost, because I think where a lot of businesses are seeing a lot of uh, renewed pressure on, on the cost element. But clearly, organizations want to uh, want to look at this focus without compromising anything like I've already mentioned, things like security, risk, compliance, et cetera. Um, and on top of that, I think ID departments are going to be pushed even harder to make changes more quickly because everything around them is changing so fast uh, and the business is demanding a lot from IT. Uh, the key thing here is the old adage, which I'm, I'm sure many of us have heard ad nauseum uh, is, uh, you know, doing less, um, sorry, doing more with less or at least at a lower cost. Um, <clears throat> you know, optimization is a key focus area for Gigamon. Uh, and being able to run fast in this environment whilst uh, minimizing unnecessary spend and reducing risk is a key use case for us. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you mentioned network visibility as a priority for you guys. So what are the, some of the key benefits and how does it help organizations save or optimize resources? Uh, this, uh, this builds on nicely from my last point. You know, as I said earlier, IT is going to do, need to do a lot more with less. And although this has often been the case, I think the focus is going to be far greater now. Um, you know, in the past, there's been a tooling explosion uh, over the past decade. There's literally a tool for everything. And, and don't get me wrong, the benefits of these tools are, are, are great, right? They provide a lot of benefit 
and a lot of visibility to, to IT um, uh, uh, personnel. <clears throat> However, I think the way they've been de deployed uh, often doesn't pay attention to sending the right information to the right tools. You know, often the, the entire data or traffic set is sent to, to multiple tools and each tool takes what they need from these feeds and then throws all of the rest away. You know, it's, it's very inefficient. There's a lot of duplication. Um, and at Gigamon, I guess, putting it simply, there's, we just feel that there's a better way to do this by optimizing what data goes to each tool. Um, essentially what this means is uh, sending only the relevant data to the relevant tool. Um, if we look at this a little bit uh, more closely, it has two real benefits. Uh, firstly, the tooling becomes instantly more effective um, because it's only looking at the information relevant to it. Uh, and secondly, and sometimes, you know, in a cost strained environment, there's an even more major benefit and that is the one of cost <clears throat> in that IT can probably stretch their investment and make the tools last longer, if you like. And in some cases, even reducing the amount of tooling you need. You know, um, we, we often see a very quick ROI from optimization activities like this from the customers we've, we've deployed in. Um, and if anyone's interested, we've got some really cool uh, tools that can uh, showcase this using specific information uh, from our customers' environments. So I'd be happy to showcase that to anyone that's interested. So. Perfect. Sounds good. Um, and what infrastructure or resources do you have in the Australia and New Zealand market? Yeah, uh, good question. We're, uh, we're, we're focused nationally as a company. Uh, we have offices, uh, physical offices in Melbourne, uh, Sydney and uh, Canberra uh, and uh, in total we've got uh, six uh, dedicated people both engineering and sales in those three locations. We're also focusing uh, on New Zealand at the moment and trying to build up a practice there and we have a very robust uh, partner community which is critical to our access, success in this market. Um, we're a, a big supporter of the, the channel um, and uh, channel partners in, in terms of deploying our capabilities and and their skill and expertise when coupled with our products is, is pretty key. Um, uh, we're obviously looking to expand that in, in, in line with um, uh, the, the growth of the market uh, and we're potentially looking at putting some more resources on in the next uh, sort of six to 12 months, possibly uh, in, in the sales and also again in that channel space. Cool. And um, if a partner or enterprise end user wanted to engage with Gigamon, what's the best way to get in touch? Uh, a, a number of ways. Obviously, if they're just looking for generic information about us, the company, our products, uh, examples of our use cases, we've actually got a really great uh, white paper showcasing 14 use cases, which in real simple English explains uh, where we can help our enterprises. And that's all available on our website. Uh, but other than that, uh, uh, we'd be more than happy to entertain uh, uh, a contact locally, uh, contacting either myself uh, or any of my team uh, locally in Melbourne, Sydney uh, or Canberra. Uh, and again, we have uh, both sales and technical resources in those areas. Um, so you can find our details through our website. Um, uh, and if you uh, want to contact me directly, it's my first name, dot last name at gigamon.com. And uh, in addition to that, it's our partner community. We've got uh, many partners. So just ask your partners uh, that you co deal with. There's a good chance one of them will either know of us or is in process of being set up as a partner with us. Um, and in the absence of that, if you want to work with a particular partner, then once again, come through me or any of my team. Uh, and we'd be happy to look at bringing that partner that you're working closely with on board uh, to help you look at uh, what's important for you. Perfect. Well, that's all I've got. Thanks again for joining us, George. I appreciate the time and uh, thanks very much for the opportunity to speak to, to you and uh, your audience. No worries. So that was the Chief of Gigamon Australia and New Zealand, George Sukas.